In Louisiana, cypress trees are being clear-cut at the same time others are desperately trying to regrow them to protect the state's fragile coast from the next big hurricane. Clear-cutting cypress forests to make cypress mulch is like melting down the Liberty Bell to make paper clips. Logging operations like this one, west of New Orleans, supply logs and pulpwood to a few sawmills that make cypress mulch. Big retailers like Home Depot buy cypress mulch from this mill that provides full-time employment for 45 people and grosses $4 million a year, $1 million in mulch sales. And I'm proud of that. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that we can continue to do what, what we feel is, is best for our nation. And we're going to support the economy. Without mulch, there's not that economic incentive to really log these forests. If they were just taking out the big trees, there would still be habitat there. Uh, you'd still have these hurricane buffers, but they're taking everything because there's that mulch market. Mill owners say they make twice as much money milling cypress logs into lumber than grinding them into mulch. Our position on cypress harvesting is that we only harvest in forests that are sustainably managed. All of our forests will come back in, in trees. We guarantee that they will come back in, in trees. State foresters say 95% of Louisiana's cypress is harvested outside the coastal zone. U.S. Forest Service data show cypress is growing back there at about the same rate as it's being cut. But in the southern part of the state, thousands of acres of cypress are cut each year and very little is regenerating. These pictures were taken of a cypress swamp logged in the Atchafalya Basin last summer. This site in the Moripas Swamp is about 30 miles northwest of New Orleans. Landowners in southern Louisiana are now selling cypress to avoid losing it all to saltwater intrusion, which has been slowly killing these coastal swamps for years. Ending the cypress mulch industry and having Walmart, Home Depot, and Lowe's stop selling cypress mulch will relieve the pressure on our forest and make sure that our best natural storm protection, flooding protection, and really precious endangered species habitat remains intact. And that leaves mulch mill owners caught in the middle. They buy logs off the stump, but have no control over who does the cutting, if it grows back, or whether Louisiana will get the billions in federal aid it needs to save the vanishing cypress swamps along its coast. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.